Asian and Middle Eastern Studies um, at the University of Illinois. He is also the director of Global Crossroads, a program, residential program at the University of Illinois. Rajmohan Gandhi is a scholar, a thinker, who has um, done a lot of reading, presentation, and he is an author of books that talk about reconciliation, peace between Muslims and Hindus in India. Um, he will make us think and rethink our worlds uh, today. And without talking too much about him, I would uh, like, without much ado, to uh, introduce Raj Mohan Gandhi this morning. Democracy 
liberty would come to the people of the communist world. That was a feature of the Cold War. Today we live in an age that is yet to be given a name by historians. After some time, the period in which we live will be given a short title. What that title will be, uh, I don't fully know. At the present time, of course, people speak of uh, the terrorism factor as a very important one. Is this going to be described as the age of terrorism, as the age of the war on terrorism, uh, as the age of the clash of civilizations? I don't fully know, but there will be some title uh, that historians will discover after some time for the time in which we are living. But let us note an important difference between this time and the previous time. At this time, which is a time also, of course, of the information revolution, the communications revolution, of the world becoming one village, in this time of the world becoming smaller and the world becoming one, suddenly we also find that there is great mistrust between the peoples on two sides of this divide. And if we see the world today in a simplified way, if we see the world today as the Western world and portions of the Islamic world, then we find that among the people of these two worlds, the Islamic world and the Western world, there is a great deal of caution, a great deal of suspicion, a great deal of fear, often also a good deal of hostility uh, in the Islamic world. Now, of course, when we speak of the Islamic world, we should do so with great care and with the awareness that the Islamic world is not a monolith. There are so many, just as there are differences inside the state of Illinois between Champaign and Effingham, uh, the Islamic world is very, very heterogeneous. Uh, it is divided in so many different ways by language, by sect, by culture, by geography. But we will forget that for the moment. We will try and think of the Islamic world as this kind of one world. In much of this Islamic world, uh, there is today uh, disseminated the view that the Western world and the American world uh, is somehow hostile to them. 